came back in and threw the touchdown the uh, next play. So just 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 those plays, and of course, you know, uh, just you know how big that game is to Ohio State and um, just 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 our you know our, our fans and our uh, community. Thank you, yeah. Kevin Fishbane, the Athletic. Hey, Justin, what's kind of your plan now to get to know some of your teammates, whether it's Andy Dalton or some of the linemen? Obviously, it's an interesting situation because you're the young guy, you're the rookie, but you're mm -hmm. also a quarterback top pick. So how do you kind of go about approaching it? Have you already had some conversations with some of your new teammates? Yeah, actually, uh, walking around in, in the uh, facility today, I, I, I met a few guys. I met, you know, Tariq Cohen, um, and I've, I actually met uh, Andy Dalton out in California before uh, my pro day so uh he's he's a great guy and uh, i mean my plan on to you know getting to getting to know my teammates is, is is literally just just being myself so it's definitely um an easy job for me and i just can't wait to meet all of them and uh get to work with them larry mayor chicagobears.com Hey, Justin, what have the last 24 hours been like for you? You wake up yesterday morning not knowing where you're going to be going, who's going to draft you, where you're going to live, and all of a sudden the Bears pick you, they whisk you to Chicago, and you're at Hell of Saul. What's it been like? It's, it's, it's definitely been crazy, you know, but I'm blessed. Um, you know, yesterday was a little bit hectic of, for, of course, for me not, not really, you know, knowing where I'm going to be. But, um, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely all been a blessing. Um, I really didn't didn't get that much sleep last night. Of course, it was a quick turnaround. I had a flight six a.m. this morning, so I just just came up here. And I mean, since I've been up here, I've enjoyed every second of it. It's a beautiful place, and I'm excited for it. Hub Arkush, Pro Football Weekly. Hey, Justin, I'm one of those uh, team up north alum that has to learn how to love one of you guys from down south now. So welcome to town. You're gonna love Thank Chicago. You. Appreciate you. Um, what what can you tell us about what was going through your mind, what you were thinking, what you were feeling when you made the decision to transfer from Georgia to Ohio State? Um, yeah. Uh, so basically, you know, uh, uh, an opportunity presented itself and um, I had to make a, you know, a decision for my future. And, um, you know, I'm really not going to get into all the all of the details, but. At the end of the day, my family and I thought it was the best decision to, uh, you know, play at Ohio State and, and and make that move, and it, you know, of course, paid off. So I'm definitely got, glad I made that decision. Hey, real quick, uh, Ryan Day just told us that it was your your pup that got you through the pandemic last year. I'm just curious, what kind of dog you have? What what is his or her name? Yeah, I have a French bulldog, and his name is Uno. So he's he's definitely a a, a big part of my life, and he's my uh, best friend for sure. He's, when you meet Tom Thayer, tell him that. Ask him about Ernie. All right, I will. Colleen Kane, Chicago Tribune. Hey, Justin. Um, obviously, it was made public earlier this week that you were managing epilepsy. And I was wondering if you could just tell us, um, you know, what it's taken to manage it in your life and um, if, if there was ever a worry if it would affect your football career. Yeah, so um, actually, I got diagnosed with it in ninth grade. So, uh, yeah, basically, it was just a – I had a seizure in school, and it was – it was crazy because I just just woke up in an ambulance. So it was definitely a, a crazy story for me. But you know, regarding football, and you know, hasn't had an, an effect on football. It, it it has had zero effect on football. I haven't missed you know any practices, any any games because of it. And I mean, it's 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 pretty simple for me to manage it. I, I just have to take you know uh, three or four pills a night um, every night. So um, it's 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 nothing crazy. It's kind of you know a, a thing that's been there um, you know for the past you know seven seven or eight so years. So um, I'm, I'm used to it and, you know, um, I'm just going to continue to deal with it and, you know, continue to you know, play the game I love. Adam Johns, The Athletic. Hey, Justin, kind of a two part question. Uh, go back to that transfer. When you when you went to Columbus, how did you connect with your teammates right away? Like, what did you do? What was what did you mm -hmm. take away from that in terms of becoming a leader on day one there, becoming a starter? Yeah, of course, I didn't have, you know, personal relationships with, you know, most of my teammates there. So what I pretty much did there was, you know, show uh, show them how, how much I wanted to win, how, how much I wanted to be there. And uh, I did that by, you know, uh, working hard in workouts and, and uh, weight training and, you know, uh, coming in first and, you know, sp sprint drills and stuff like that. And um, as, as time went along, I just, you know, started building personal relationships with, 
you know, from from guys that were freshmen, from guys that were seniors, from guys that were walk on. So I think it's, you know, very important to, you know, get to know your teammates and kind of build those personal relationships with them. That way you can connect with them on the highest level. And then today when you met the guys at Hallis Hall, I'm curious as you're walking through the halls, anything strike you, whether it's a picture of Walter Payton or George Hallis's hat, like th this is a team with a lot of history. Yeah, I mean, just the tradition here, the the, the history here, the, the the pride, you know, here in Chicago is just 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 unmatched, and you know, I just 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 love the energy already, and I'm I'm just you know glad to be a Bear and you know glad to be a part of this great city and great um, organization. So I'm I'm excited. Mike Berman. Hey Justin, welcome to Chicago and congratulations. I think you touched on this last night, but wondering if you can expand on it. You know, you're sitting inside of Hallis Hall, the headquarters of the Bears, and you you understand the the history of the quarterback position with this franchise and how tortured the fan base is and how badly they want a franchise quarterback to lead the way. Mm -hmm. how, how do you, how do you look at that opportunity? How do you approach it? How do you look at it? How do you maybe prevent the pressure from pouring down on you? Um, I don't think there's 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 pressure at all on me because I uh, you know I expect myself to you know uh, be a franchise quarterback so you know um, there's there's really no added pressure um, you know I, I came from a big program like Ohio State where you know the the, the fan base is very passionate about their sports so uh, there's there's definitely no no added pressure on me in terms of that you know I expect myself to be a franchise quarterback and a uh, you know one day hopefully a, a a top top five quarterback in this league so uh, that's what I'm gonna you know. So I have to do. I'm gonna work work every day to you know reach my goal and to, uh, reach reach new heights. So, yeah. Cam Ellis. Hey Justin. Sort of related to that, I, I know you filmed the message to fans last night. I'm sure you've heard from more than a couple uh, since then. I'm just sort of curious what your first impression of talking and hearing from Bears fans has been in the first you know 18 hours or so. Yeah, I mean, you know, the, these these Bears Bears fans from these you know first first you know eighteen hours or so, is, they've they, they've been great. They've shown nothing but support, and you know, I can just tell you know they're they're all excited, and um, I'm excited too. So I you know just just can't wait for the future, and you know can't 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 wait to you know be able to you know spend you know moments uh, with 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 them, and you know also with my teammates. So I'm excited. John Hammond, Pro Football Weekly. Hey, Justin, uh, just curious, you know, who did you emulate when you were growing up in the backyard? Who were your quarterback heroes? And and mm -hmm. two, as you got older, whose who's film did you study? Yeah, I would say when I was, you know, younger, like maybe eighth, ninth grade, it was it was more Cam Newton. But I would say, you know, these past couple of years have, have kind of turned more into, you know, uh, a Russell Wilson type type quarterback. So I've, you know, watched a lot of film on him. I've, I've watched a lot of highlights on him. So I think you know, the things that we can do on the field, you know, with, with both of those quarterbacks, I think, you know, we have a lot of similarities between, you know, uh, extending plays with our legs and, you know, uh, also having the arm talent. So uh, I think those are, you know, a, a couple of guys that I kind of emulate my game after. Joey Kaufman, Columbus Dispatch. Justin, I wanted to, to follow up on, on the question about epilepsy earlier. That that came out through a, a leak report um, last week, and I wanted to know how did how did you feel about that when it when it came out? Um, obviously, you had kind of talked about that publicly at Ohio State. Yeah. How did yeah. you feel, and, and and just kind of how, how did you kind of handle that? Um, I mean, it it is what it is. It's a part of me. I'm not gonna you know try to hide it. Um, it's 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 who I am. So uh, there's there's no really really reason trying to hide it. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna, just just like I said before, I'm gonna you know can continue to manage this and continue to, you know, uh, play football uh, like like I like how I've always played football. So it's 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 really nothing different for me. And of course, you know, it, it came from a leak source, but I'm not 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 worried about that one, one bit. So I'm just 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 happy to be here. Dan Wiederer. Justin, curious what in, in Russell's game uh, impresses you the most and, and what traits he has that, that, that you really are drawn to? Yeah, you know, just his, his, his deep ball is, is, is one, you know, just, just, just off the top of my head, the, the way he puts, you know, a lot of arc on it, his, his accuracy, of course, and, you know, just, just you, know, uh, you know, how he, how he carries himself, you know, as a leader, as a teammate. And, um, you know, I, I like his game. He's, he's, he's an accurate quarterback. He, he uh, 
he, he also uses his legs. So um, just just you know stuff stuff like that. I think those are some some similarities uh, that we have. Coach Day uh, also brought up the Indiana game, and others have brought it up as well as as a game that uh, translated into a learning experience for you. I'm curious how you felt about that game in the moment, and and what lessons you took away from it, maybe in terms of pressing and, and some other things that you you drew on it. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think there were a, a few plays in that game where I was just trying to be Superman. Uh, you know, I was trying to do too much. You know, throw the ball with uh, guys on my back, and I was trying to take it back to to you know, uh, I guess middle school days. But yeah. I definitely, you know, you know, learned a lot from that game and, you know, uh, keeping my team in the best position to win and, of course, not putting my team at risk to turn the ball over. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, I think that game was definitely a, a game that I'll remember for the rest of my life in terms of, you know, what I need to do uh, to, to help my you know, team in the best position to win and uh, to be successful. So um, I usually learn from my mistakes and I'm just, just, just going to learn from those ones. Pat Finley, Chicago Sun Times. Hey Justin, how old were you when you when you first met Trevor Lawrence, and what does that? Um, mean? Oh, oh go ahead. I was probably like I would say tenth grade, maybe. Tenth grade. What has that kind of competitiveness been like between the two of you? Whether it's Elite Eleven, whether it's on the field, whether it's rankings coming out of high school, whether it's matchups in the playoffs in college, and now when you get drafted uh, in the same year, uh, do you find yourself comparing yourself to him and vice versa? And does it motivate you at all? Um, no, not really. I mean, you know, I, I think, you know, me and him are, are used to this. I mean, we've, we've been at it for so long now. It seems like it's, it's been a long time, but um, I think, you know, me and him, of course, of course are both great quarterbacks. And, you know, I, I think we, 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 we love this game. I think, um, you know, we, 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 we both want to be great. So I'm not really saying that, you know, I'm necessarily trying to be better at him in, in, in this particular area. I'm just, you know, focused on myself and focused on, you know, being the best quarterback I can be for my teammates and uh, for my coaches. When the season starts, though, do you imagine you're going to, you know, on Sunday afternoons when you get done with your job, going to look at, look and see how he did or, or follow him from afar? Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be looking at, uh, you know, everybody and to, to, to see how they did not just not just Trevor it's, it's not you know a one-on-one -on -one thing so um you know I, I I wish him nothing but the best and um I hope he has a great career down in Jacksonville. Mark Grody 670 the score. Your your head coach um said your Ryan Day at Ohio State said that I just want to make sure I got it right he says that you burn hot on the inside even though a lot of times you can't see it because you kind of seem to have just a, a relaxed demeanor. Is, is that the right way to to describe it? And and where does that even keel come from? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, Coach Day, you know, he's he's one of the coaches that knows me best. So uh, he's he's definitely right about that one. And, you know, I think the the, the even keelness comes from, you know, just me, um, you know, being in so many experiences, you know, involving sports situations in my life, I've, I've played up to, you know, four sports growing up. So I'm um, just, you know, failing at, you know, different sports. I've, I've always tried to, you know, stay even killed and kind of, you know, try to keep my body language, um, you know, neutral. So um, that's, that's, I think that's, that's, that's just where they, that, that comes from. You know, my, my dad has harped on it from, from when I was a little kid to, so, you know, just, just make sure I have good body language and, you know, no matter how I'm feeling, um, just, just try not to, let others see it so yes, sir and, and Justin one other thing too do you do you feel like you could step on the field day one game one in the NFL because right now the plan is to to have Andy Dalton be the starting quarterback for the Bears yeah I mean uh you know that's 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 not up to me that's up to you know coach and uh my my, my job is simply to you know uh, per perform the best I can perform and you know uh, uh, be the best quarterback I can be. So um, I think that's a question for Coach Coach Nagy. Tim May. Thank you very much. Hey, Justin, just real quick before I ask you my real question. Did, did you feel there was a an effort the last several weeks to somehow or another bring you down? I'm talking about from your perspective as you looked at some of the things that came out, much of which was bogus. Just how did you how did you let that roll off your back? Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I really can't do anything about it. Um, you know, there were some things said that, you know, that of course weren't, weren't true, but Hey, at this point, you know, for, for me, at least the, the, the draft is over and, you know, my focus is now is, 
you know, to turning to, you know, how can I help uh, the Chicago Bears win? So I'm not really worried about, you know, what's what's has said in the past. You know, that's that's all said and done with. So um, I'm 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 here now and I'm, you know, worried about, uh, you know, the the present. So. And well, the quickie, what's your who's your favorite to be your successor at Ohio State? There's three guys, at least in the running. And then and then what's the best thing you got from your relationship with Ryan Day the last two years that you'll carry with you? Um, you know, if I went to, you know, more practices, I, I could probably give you a favor, but, you know, <laughs> I, I don't have one. But I one one thing I do know is, you know, all three of those quarterbacks down there, you know, competitive, they're, they're smart, they're, they're, you know, very talented. And, um, you know, me and Coach Day, we've definitely had a great relationship over these past few years of my time being at Ohio State. But, you know, one thing about Coach Day is that is, you know, he's, he's such a good coach, but, you know, a lot of you guys don't know this. He's, He's an even better person, you know, um, just the things that he's taught me in, in life and, you know, um, just the uh, just the lessons he's taught me. It's just, you know, um, priceless. So I'm just, you know, grateful for grateful for all of that, for sure. Thanks, man. Yep. Bill from the Columbus Dispatch. Hi, Justin. Um, in the course of this week, I talked to, to uh, Wyatt Davis and Josh Byers. They didn't practice for the Alabama game because they were hurt. Ryan, they said today that, that you really didn't practice much. Can you kind of describe uh, how much you did practice, how much that might have affected your performance? And, and in light of that, you know, how, how tough was, was that matchup for you guys? Yeah, I, I don't think me not practicing affected my performance. I think, you know, me being injured that game, you know, definitely, uh, you know, might have you know, impacted my performance that game and, you know, what I could have done. In the national championship game, but you know, uh, I think White and Josh, you know, they're 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 tough players, and of course, you know, um, after the Clemson game, a good bit of us got uh, beat up beat up pretty well. But um, you know, I, I think you know, you know, no matter how uh, beaten up, you know, we 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 all could have gotten. You know, that was that was one more game left, so we were gonna leave it all all out on the line. You know, r r regardless. But um, yeah, I mean, those 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 guys are you know great guys, and they're 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 they're, they're definitely um, hard hard workers for sure. And how much do you think it could have been different if you guys had been fully healthy? Um, I think, you know, things could have went, you know, way differently. Um, you know, I, I will we'll really never know. So it's, you know, no, no really point in, you know, hoping for it. So, yeah. Larry Mayer, ChicagoBears.com. Hey, Justin, uh, you were, it looked like last year that there might not be a Big Ten season at all. And you were very active and, getting that done and getting everyone on the field. Why was it important to you, number one, to play and not just kind of rest and, and prepare for the NFL draft? And, and secondly, why was it important to you be so take such an active role in getting that done? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was you know, uh, a big thing for me to play is because I've, I've been playing this, the football since I was like five years old. So, I mean, you know, uh, like, I think it was maybe one or two weeks into the season where the ACC and the SEC might have started playing last year. And, you know, my teammates and I were sitting at our apartments literally watching their game. So, I mean, that was the, you know, the, the, the weirdest I had felt in a long time. So, um, you know, um, you know, I, I wasn't trying to uh, not play the, the whole season after, you know, we went through winter workouts, summer workouts, and, you know, me seeing um, the amount of work my teammates have put in in the off season and, uh, me knowing how much, you know, they wanted to get back in that position to, you know, be, be able to play Clemson again. Um, I wasn't going to, or not wasn't, but I I was going to do, you know, everything that, that, that I could to, you know, help help get our season back. And one of the reasons why I kind of, you know, pushed that petition was because, you know, my uh, social media is uh, kind of on a bigger platform than, you know, most most other college players. So um, I, I, I thought that, you know, this, the size of, um, you know, my social media platform could have, you know, reached, you know, a lot of people across the country and, you know, maybe have influenced the decision of, you know, uh, flipping the Big Ten decision to cancel the season. We're going to do two more quick for Justin, followed by a quick uh, photo op. Uh, Pat Finley, Chicago Sun-Times. Justin, you talk about playing four sports growing up. What role did baseball play in your footwork? And uh, how old were you when you decided that, that you wanted to focus your energies uh, toward football more than anything else? Yeah, I think, you know, baseball, uh, footwork, I don't know if it has so much to do with footwork, but I think it, you know, it, it has something to do with 
uh, throwing, you know, uh, the ball off platform, you know, especially playing middle infield, you have to throw the ball and run a lot and stuff like that. So I think that's where, you know, baseball comes in to play in the quarterback position. And then also, what was your last question? I'm sorry, I forgot. How old were you when you decided to push your chips in on football and what went into that decision? Oh, um, I've, I've played baseball all, all the way up to my junior year. So after um, my senior year of football, uh, I graduated early from high school and then just just, just went to college. So um, I did it. I played baseball pretty much all the way until like the age of four, all the way up to uh, my junior year of high school. Last one, Dan Wiederer. Justin, just circling back to the, the conversation about the pandemic, the fall can seem so distant now. I, I'm wondering if you could put us back in, in your shoes in August and September and the level of restlessness you felt with the uncertainty that was surrounding you in regards to whether you're going to play and, and what you take out of that entire 2020 experience, which is obviously very unprecedented and unusual. Yeah. I mean, I think at the time, you know, before they actually canceled the season, there was kind of a, a, a part in me that was saying, you know, they're actually not going to do it. They're just saying that because of course, you know, the, the SEC and the ACC, they, they still had their season going on. But um, um, after that happened, it was like, wow, of course. And, and, I guess, you know, 2020 a recap, it was just a, a lot of, you know, uh, a lot of trials that, you know, myself and my, my teammates had to go through, you know, of course, where we had coaches out of games, players out of games. So um, I think, you know, uh, going through you know, that, I guess, situation made us stronger individually and as a team and also as a brotherhood. So I think that made us come together uh, as a team and it, it it really just 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 made us stronger. So, um, you know. Uh, I think if we wouldn't have gone through that, uh, we wouldn't have been the same team. And I think uh, that that definitely made us uh, more mentally stronger. Thanks, Justin. All right, media, hang tight here, and we'll have um, a quick photo op opportunity um, with Justin and his jersey. I think we're all set. Thanks for your time, Justin. Appreciate it. Congrats.